Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at layers and the SVG file format. So, I've got an Illustrator file and it has several main layers. Main layers means they are right to the left of this list in the panel. There's a rectangle on all of them and here we've got a group. And now to export this, we can either go the route to save as, or we can go export for screens. I'm going to use export for screens like this. And SVG is already selected. And then we're going to export this to the desktop. And I've already got a file with the same name. So let's just replace that. And there it is. And now when we open that again in Illustrator, like this. And then you see in the exported file, we have just one main layer and then all these sub things in it. And now let's just click on that target symbol. And then you see it's not a layer, it's a group here. So the export has turned these into groups. We're going to do the same in Inkscape. And Inkscape is a vector editor and SVG is its native file format. I've got a file in here, so we've got the layers here. And the same, we've got a rectangle on all of them. So this is the layers panel in Inkscape. And now when we save that, then there are two kinds of SVG files that we can save. So there's the Inkscape SVG, and that one preserves all the effects that Inkscape can create that are not supported by the default file format. So they have invented another, another file format that can keep these live and editable. And we've got the plain SVG, which is just the plain vanilla SVG file format as standardized. So let's do that. And I'm going to call that standard like that. And as you can see, there's already a file named like that. So it's plain SVG and let's just export it. And now when we open that again, this one, then let's build it. So here we've got them all named layers. So this is what we wanted to see. But in Illustrator, that doesn't appear. Now, in order to figure this out, we have to take a look at a text editor. So I'm going to open this file and then the other one that Illustrator exported, these two files. And now we have them side by side. So the Inkscape one didn't open correctly. So let's go in here again and let's go in this one and open it. So there we have them. And you see this one is the Inkscape one. And in the code, you see there are all groups. So the G means it's a group. So the SVG file format doesn't know layers. For it, everything is a group. And then in here, in the Illustrator file, we've also got those, those groups, the G. There's the group. Now for Illustrator, this structure with just group as the most top um, structure element, that's not allowed. So in Illustrator, let's go back to it there always has to be a layer at the most, at the main position, if you mean. So there cannot be groups in there. And then when it opens a file that has this kind of layer structure, so let's go in here and let's open this SVG export, it's one from, from Inkscape. I'm going to open that and then you see they are named layer. But actually, they are groups again. So it has put the a layer at the top of this that didn't exist in Inkscape, but Illustrator needs it. So it put it there and then put 
those layers as groups inside of it. So it's it's a a collision of the SVG file structure and what Illustrator needs to have. So if you want the structure like what Inkscape gives you, then actually you have to edit the code or you have to open the SVG in Inkscape afterwards and reorganize it. Illustrator cannot give you that.